tonight we're having burritos, and again we have uh, a hollowed log furnace, which <laughs> is kind of neat. So um, earlier today I just rehydrated my mix of uh, meat and uh, vegetables. Pretty much it's always been the same mix. I had lots of leftovers from last year, and yes, this is food dehydrated last year that I have. Um, I'm going to, I have, um, I just bought an old El Paso uh, burrito mix kit. I have the, the uh, tortillas down there and I have the uh, sauce uh, mix. So I'm going to add that in the water since I can't uh, hold the camera and cook at the same time. I'll be back. So I put in the powder and it says mix it in a cup and a third of water. And that will make the sauce. It seems to have gone out. <laughs> now what's great about the old El Paso kit is uh, it comes with the tortillas and the sauce mix and salsa. I couldn't find any little packets of salsa to bring so that's what the main reason why I got the old El Paso kit. So I have some salsa for tonight and I'll save a little bit for my breakfast burritos tomorrow morning. So the finished product Put some meat and bean goo, meat and beans, some crumbled up cheese, a bit of salsa, dope. We're having a tortilla malfunction. Basically, we have a burrito. You can cut. Ah. Hmm? So this morning we're gonna try our natural high Mexican omelet with sausage. Uh, this one I actually went out and bought uh, before camping this year. Um, I've always been traumatized about this dried egg concept. Um, I don't know, the idea just seems gross to me. But I've seen um, and heard of people making breakfast burritos, which the idea sounds cool, and you know, I, I'm mostly worried about the texture of the eggs, not the taste. So I figured in burritos it would be uh, disguisable. So uh, this is natural high, and uh, it's got. Uh, it's Mexican omelette with sausage. So there's some vegetables in there. It's really flaky and powdery. And uh, there's the little oxygen absorber. The egg is sticking to everything. And um, it says to add a cup of cold water. So I'm going to go get that. Well, I've got the water ready. I've taken a smell and uh, it, it actually smells pretty good. Um, I actually don't smell the egg at all. I smell uh, the peppers. Um, uh, before coming I had found some uh, some uh, powdered egg from the bulk barn and uh, I thought that was kind of cool. It was like 15 grams of powder uh, with equal four parts water equals one large egg. And I'm going to experiment with that when I get home. But it smelled kind of weird. I had like a very, very strong smell. So I've got the water, I'm going to pour it in and uh, mix it up with a fork. It's, um, it wants cold water, which I found weird. I'd already started uh, boiling water and then I grab the packet and read the back and I'm like, oh, cold, okay. So it's um, mix in cold water and let's sit for 10 minutes and then uh, scramble it up in a frying pan. And um, I, I'm pretty sure that'll work well for the eggs and I'm not sure about the de freeze dried food in there. Oh well, we'll see All how right, it goes. So I put the water in and stirred until smooth. And uh, I can see little sausage bits in there. There's little chunks of tortilla chips. There's some peppers. And um, compared to the other freeze-dried meal, I don't know if I can focus. Um, the ingredients on this one aren't so bad. Egg mix powder, cooked sausage, tortilla chips, onion granules, parm cheese, um, green bell peppers, salt, flour, 
modified food storage, non-fat milk powder, fructose, garlic, granules, and spices. And uh, I think the other one had like a list twice as long. It was kind of creepy. I couldn't pronounce half the things on it. So, um, I don't know. Uh, I tasted the fork and it, uh, it tasted a bit salty, but otherwise fine. No weird um, egg flavor. So, uh, I, this is starting to look well, promising. it's been about 10 or so minutes. The mix doesn't look much different. It's still very, very liquid. Hopefully it'll... Well, I guess it looks like the consistency of beaten eggs. So I hope they uh, coagulate with the heat. <laughs> Which we're going to uh, start cooking those up now. Um, okay, so I'm heating up my oil and I've got some tortillas just getting toasty. So in goes the eggs. The eggs are just starting to coagulate. I've got to keep an eye on the tortillas, otherwise they'll get too crispy. And I'm going to relocate the relocate the eggs. Um, there we go. I don't think I had enough heat before to coagulate them, but they're kind of behaving just like regular eggs would. my tortilla puffed up. And you can see here, it's really starting to thicken up like eggs. Just a little bit more cooking to go. And the eggs are done. I don't like runny scrambled eggs. So I cooked them till they're nice and dry, and now we're ready to assemble. Okay, here we have our tortillas. Grab some egg mix. This is the last of our cheddar cheese, and this is just some leftover salsa from uh, last night's burritos for supper. And in case we didn't have enough salsa left over, I, I brought a little thing of uh, hot sauce. So, let's see how this tastes. Not bad at all. I'm going to taste the eggs on their own because that's what I was so traumatized about. Oh, they're tasty. They're a little bit um, gooier. Kind of have a slightly pasty texture, but no, that's plenty eatable. So a uh, big win for uh, Nature High uh, scrambled eggs.